So one of the newer categories for ABR part three is ethics. So ethics involves a lot of different kind of gray area, including authorship, Belmont principles, professional relationships. So it's kind of a grab bag what you may get. So you have to cover a wide array of topics to really prepare for it. So right now we're going to cover just four random ethic related questions. So first may be what are the components of MOC? What is the author authorship criteria for research? Describe the professional relationship between your clinic and vendors. And what are the Belmont principles? So the first thing is you got to know that MOC stands for maintenance of certification. So this essentially the components are evidence of professional standing, lifelong learning, cognitive experience and performance in practice. The many different ways that the various groups can do that, but those are the components that they are trying to verify that you are upholding to be a certified professional in your field. Next, authorship criteria. So this actually is pretty important. You wanna verify that each individual on your paper actually is making significant contributions to the work. So this may simply be drafting the work, the research, or the actual manuscript. You have to get final approval. So everyone who is on the list of authors needs to look at the work, verify it, make edits, and actually do the final approval. And then it has to be some type of accountability for that work. And that obviously is important. So someone doesn't get their name and they actually didn't have any accountability or do anything. It's important not to submit any type of work that pretty much you can't apply to multiple different journals at the same time. You don't want to put additional authors on work just to put their names on there. Obviously, you can't plagiarize. You also can't falsify data. So those are big no-nos and something that is important to remember for research. Now, this relationship between clinic and vendors, you can't have gifts over $100. Uh, anything over $100 is a no-no. There can't be any entertainment activities. There can be modest meals, but it has to be for everyone in the department, not just the physicians, not just the physicists. There can also be no swag. So unfortunately, no pens, no stress balls, none of that stuff. And finally, the three Belmont principles, which I think would be important to actually remember and be able to discuss in detail. First is respect for individuals. So obviously that is respecting their right to choose to be in a study or not be in a study and what is best for them. A beneficence is the next one. And that is important because they essentially with that, you are maximizing results while minimizing the risk. And then finally, uh, simply just justice. So that is just four of the random things they can ask in ethics. It actually is the toughest category, I would say, to study for because you just don't know what they're going to bring about. And it's kind of hard to recommend what to tell you to study for because it is so random. But kind of cover a lot of information. Thankfully, some of it is common sense. Other things like the Belmont principles are just pure memorization. But if you have any questions, comment below. I'll help where I can. Best of luck studying, and we'll catch you in the next video.